Hello everyone, Brian Zane here and welcome to a special edition of Getting Into The Biz. Now one of the most frequently asked questions I get from you, the fans, on this segment is how do I cut a good promo? What does it take to cut a good promo? Well, I figured I might as well go to the friggin' promo champion, folks. This guy, you might have seen him before, he made it into the top four of the Steve Austin edition of Tough Enough. He is the voice of Hood Slam, friend of the show, and he is the recent winner of the inaugural Rock the Promo Tournament. Folks, my guest this time, also known as Bros of Joe Brody, but here he's AJ Kirsch. AJ, thanks for stopping by. My pleasure, man. Thank you for having me. So now, first of all, tell the fans, what is the Rock the Promo ch uh, Tournament? So Rock the Promo was a weekly episodic series on The Rock's YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash The Rock. And um, he basically just asked anybody to send in videos saying, send me your best wrestling promo. I'm Bros of Joe Brody, bro. I hail from the highest peak of Mount Bro Olympus. I'm the voice of Hood Slam in Brooklyn, California, and I am guaranteed to bro your mind. Through a series of eliminations, he, he narrowed it down to 32, and then from those 32, it was narrowed down to 16, then 8, then 4, then 2, and then there was just one. And each week, a legend from pro wrestling would evaluate the promos. So, for example, the the superstars that were evaluating my rounds were, uh, let's see, Cody Rhodes, Christian, Kurt Angle, uh, Mick Foley, and then of course uh, making the final call was The Rock himself. The 2016 okay. Rock the Promo Champion he is Rosa Joe Burr. Fuck yeah! I, it felt great. I mean, it, I, I still am at a loss for words when I, when I think about the moment that he said my name and, and declared me the champion, but also for me personally, like um, kind of going back to my time on Tough Enough, it was kind of a little bit of validation for me. Like, because even though I lost Tough Enough, I, I won the promo challenge on that show, which The Rock was also present for. And, uh, you know, it's just a little bit of validation where I, even though I didn't win Tough Enough at the time, which was devastating for me, like, I'm still at the top of my game five years later when it comes to the promo part of professional wrestling. So now you talk about your promo style. You have a very unique promo style. Who would you say your biggest influences have been uh, when it comes to uh, mainly to, to, to your character, but specifically your promo style? That's a great question. I mean, I take inspiration from from wherever I can find it, really. I mean, of course, some of the greatest talkers of all time, you got to talk about Roddy Piper. You have to talk about Dusty Rhodes, um, Steve Austin more recently. Just you believed every single thing Steve Austin was saying. Um, but also guys that not necessarily made it to the highest peak of pro wrestling, like guys like Brian Pillman, where you you believed everything he was saying, but you also believed that he was just a little bit unhinged. Like there were moments where watching Brian Pillman cut a promo where I wasn't sure if I was watching a character or the real person. And I think that's when you really get lost in the story of pro wrestling, which is ultimately what we're all trying to do. We're all trying to tell a story and effective characters can do that well. So the next question here, and this is probably the crux of the whole argument, what makes a good wrestling promo? And on the flip side, what makes a bad wrestling promo? A good wrestling promo doesn't sound like a promo. Like, if you tell an actor to perform a monologue, to the actor, it's a monologue. Much like to a pro wrestler, a promo is a promo. But to whoever's watching the monologue, it shouldn't come off as a monologue. It should come off as somebody who is lost in this moment. And for even, again, just the briefest of moments, you believe that this is not jerk off Mick whoever, you know, doing a monologue. That this is, you know... Bros of Joe Brody. Bros of Joe Brody, you know, or whoever. You know, like, they, you've got to get absolutely lost in that character. And I've been doing the Bros of character for a number of years now, and I feel like I understand that character, I enjoy playing that character, and of course there are shreds of my own personality in that character. So, and I know I'm rambling because I can talk about this forever, but to kind of bring it to a close, um, don't look at it as a promo, look at it as you are this character and you're trying to convince your audience that whatever the point of your promo is, they have reason to be more interested in it after your promo than before. So you've been in wrestling for a long time. You are good at promos. The belt symbolizes that. How did you get so good at promos? What was your technique to get to where you are? It's not an easy process to get good at promos. Um, it requires a lot of trial and error, a lot of failure, um, and a lot of making mistakes and learning from those mistakes. But um, I think the turning point for me personally was the promo I cut on Tough Enough uh, on Bill DeMott in front of Steve Austin, in front of The Rock, and in front of Trish Stratus. 
I knew where I was in the competition. I wasn't doing great. Like I knew I had this feeling that I was on my way out and I knew I had to kind of let it all hang out. And so I meant every word I said. And that's what you have to do when you're cutting an effective promo because if you don't believe what you're saying, the crowd's not going to believe it, let alone drop money on seeing whatever you're cutting the promo about, whether it's a match or, I mean, whatever it is. So you got to find a way to believe in what you're saying. And if you believe in what you're saying, there's a good chance the people will. One question, this is the most important, that any young aspiring wannabe wrestler out there or someone who's just starting to train or someone who has been wrestling for a while and thinks that promos aren't their strong suit, what's the one piece of advice you could give them? Just really hammer this point home. What's the one piece of advice you give those people? If promos aren't your strong suit, make them your strong suit because everybody wants to wrestle like a Shawn Michaels or a Kurt Angle or, I mean, a Ric Flair, like... So few people actually have the ability that the greatest of all time have. But if you get good at promos, you don't have to wrestle people into a building. You can talk them into a building. People will pay to hear you talk and people will look forward to what you have to say and listen to what you have to say. Again, I, I, Paul Heyman's a perfect example of this. Like, if I hear that Paul Heyman is going to be on Raw, I will go out of my way and I will make time to watch that segment because not only is he in my opinion, I think he's the best promo going today, but he just he's just so good at it that I feel like I learn something every time I watch him cut a promo. So if promos aren't your strong suit, practice them until they are. And it can be, it can be anything. Something that's helped me was uh, going up on stage and singing karaoke because a lot, you know, I wasn't great at singing when I started out, but I found a way to Increase, oh boy. And they're killing our lights. Uh, apparently, the electric bill is gone, folks. But here, let me tell you, folks, this is AJ Kirsch. He's the Rock the Promo champion. Maybe we'll get the lights back on for this, but who cares? Anyway, if you want to see more of the Rock the Promo stuff where he won the tournament, I'm going to post a link to those videos in the description. I'm going to put AJ Kirsch's and Bros of Joe Brody's social media accounts in the description as well. So check this guy out. Uh, and that's all I got to say. He's the, he's the Rock the Promo champion. He knows what he's talking about. If you want to know how to cut promos, listen to this guy. He knows what he's talking about. So for AJ Kirsch, I'm Brian. And Zane, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, bro.